So now this activity now is a live project. So let me hide some information. Where is it? This one now, the predecessor, you click on this predecessor tab. So the predecessor is a um, construction of construction and erection of started fence column. You can see it's ongoing, it has not finished. And the let's say the relationship is finished to start. Okay, finished to start. So if this activity cannot start until the processor has finished. And now the processor is ongoing, it has not finished. Okay, let me bring the progress percent complete. Okay, I remove the okay. So, um, this it cannot it cannot start on the twelfth of August, and probably something now happens. I remove the this one fifteen on the sixth of August. So, and today is started of July, and I went to the status and it started. Okay, and I said that sixth of August started. Okay, so ah, see where total float is. Oh. Let me arrange it well. Bring my total float back to this place. Click OK. Original duration. Then I'll add another one. Remaining duration. Duration. So now. And I said, okay, it has started. Started on the on the twenty eighth of July. Okay, so and I said that it has expanded two days. So remaining twelve days out of out of uh, fourteen days. It has spent two days. So this are this is so it's now fourteen point two nine percent. Okay, whereas from the logic, it's supposed to start after the completion of the construction and erection of started fence column. And now it's not starting. So now you when you run your schedule, schedule, you schedule it, then go back and check the schedule log. Okay, beautiful. Now you see, initially when we when we schedule it, it was, the out of sequence activity was showing what zero. Now you now see that we now have a one out of sequence activity. So, so in any case, in a situation whereby you have an out of sequence activity, what you need to do is to after you check the log, you have seen that particular activity involved. Okay. You just change the logic. You go and change the logic. Okay. Since this has started, and it's supposed to start after the finish of this one, this particular activity, social activity. You unlink it from that activity that is no more the successor of this activity. Now go and link it with another activity. Or you change it to you change it to finish to start. You know, it's, um, it's finish to start. You change it to start to start. Okay. Start, you change it to start to start. And you can start the same day. And probably, and probably with lag. Okay. Then you go back to your schedule. Choose schedule. Then let me check the option for and see if my automatic so automatic is on. So now go to V log. Change it. It's still there. Okay. It's still there. 
So, um, it's still there. It started on the 28th of July. Whereas this one has not even started. So, so it does not even, it starts to start, does not work. Oh, 350k. That's the five day. <laughs> Imagine I put 350 days in lag. Okay, and it has started. Okay, the processor has started. So, start to start. Um, start to start. So, you go back to your study log. Do your study log and see. It's still there. Installation of solar fence where I'm at, out of sequence. So, you go back. The processor is start to is this one started when 19th of February. 19th of February 2022. And this is July. And it's telling me it's out of sequence. So remove this 35 days, change it to zero. Okay. And go back to your tools to check if it's still there out of sequence. It's still there. So, meaning that if you want to start progress this activity, you will need to now change the logic. Okay? You just change the relationship that this activity, the predecessor is no more, is no more construction of Citadel Foundation. So you remove it. You remove this. And I assign another predecessor to it. Okay. So let me see. Let me look for an activity that's supposed to start. Um, oh. On June. Let's see what I'm supposed to move. In. So I just click on do control Z. It's not responding. Yes. So okay, it's back. Okay. Construction and relation of study pains. Has not actually started. This is not what I want you to do. So the processor of this one, this is what I supposed to do. The processor is starts to start plus 15 days. Okay. This is supposed to start. This one has not even started. And this one I'm saying that it has started. So you now remove the predecessor. This one, this one I've returned the predecessor. Okay. On two. So I will now remove the Construction of an as the as the predecessor. So I will link it to another activity. Okay. Assign it to another activity. Because this one has not started. So I will link it to an activity that's already started. Okay. And you're supposed to finish by July. By July. I'll scroll up. Scroll up. I'll look for any ongoing. Okay, let's say I will not look into any of these activities I've started. Let's say cover drainage system and uh, cover drainage system and covers. So will not be my predecessor now. Make it start to start. I say, I start to start predecessor, assign. So I scroll. Make it start to start. Or maybe plus 10 days. So I go back to schedule, new log. 
So it's gone. Out of sequence activity is now what? Zero. Now, mm -hmm. another thing has ensued here. Um, construction and erection of started fence now does not have successor. So you close it, you go and add successor. Because I remove, I remove the successor. So and I had successor. Add one now to this place. Close. Go back to two. Schedule. The log. It's not clear. Now, my stone activity with invalid relationship has come up. I, I signed out one that had no successor to this. It's not telling me that relationship is wrong. You see what Pamela is telling you now? You close it, you go and check it. This successor to this. So I'll change it to maybe say finish message to finish to finish. Go back. Check it. B log. It's resolved. Milestone at this with invalid relationship is got to zero. So this is how you you take out your out of um, out of um, sequence activity. Do you understand? Do you understand now? This is how you work on out of sequence activity. Are you with me? Yes, sir. You have any question? No. So now, I'm just see what you're doing. Now, let's look at another topic. Oh.